Hi guys, it's Cindy and I'm back and today I just wanted to briefly show you guys my hair. So this is the wig that I purchased from uh, PlatinumWigs.com. It was a 16 inch unstyled bangs and uh, I believe it was soft yakky. And I have not really uh, manipulated the cut of this wig at all. Um, so... What I did do actually was I put some highlights in it and I'll just show you guys the highlights. I hope you can see this and then I'll tell you exactly what I used to get this color and this side. And let me try and show you guys the back. So, uh, I thought, which I don't know why I thought that because that never happens. Um, if you look at the box, this is L'Oreal Paris Touch on Highlights and it's in the color H50 Toasted Almond. Uh, it looks like this. <clears throat> and as you can see, it says Touch on Highlights there. Um, it's complete highlighting kit and this little thing your the little finger thingy you put it on your finger and you um, just streak whatever part that you want I found that to be highly um, impractical and I ended up using a regular dye brush um, and just uh, leaving it just setting it down this is the place it down but I think the next time I'll use aluminum foil because I think people use that for a reason. And all I did was I used uh, Trina and I put the wig on her head. She's been through some things. <laughs> and this is how I applied the highlights. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I tried to make a video showing you guys doing it, but it just was not working out because I was here doing it by myself and I didn't have anybody to film. But uh, on the box, uh, it says if you have dark brown hair, it's supposed to come out looking like this. And if you have light brown hair, it's supposed to come out looking like this. But mine did not come out looking like either. Um, it came out probably more subtle than this. It's, it's light enough that you can see that there are highlights. But it's not light enough. The, as light as I was going for. I also bought another one. I got these from Ulta. It was buy one, get one half off. And I bought it around probably the week of Black Friday. Um, I, I always wanted to try it. And once upon a time, I tried highlights on my own head. And I fried it. Now, I'll say the texture of the wig changed a little bit. And I think it's only because I blow dried it after I washed it and conditioned it. I blow dried it because I had to go to work right after. Um, so it's it seems more voluminous, and I haven't had a chance to flat iron yet. So I don't know. I think I might like it a little bit more voluminized like this, and maybe put some curls in it. Um, so that is that. I did notice that I put the highlight color on the places where there were gray because of course apparently nowadays when you buy a wig it, it always comes with gray hairs for some reason I absolutely hate hate that I hate it it's it's like what'd you do go gray robbing I it, I know probably they did not do that probably but that's when I see gray hairs that's what I think that it, I don't know why but um, I put the, the dye in most of the places that I saw the gray hairs. And apparently to me, it's like when you do that, it sort of makes the gray stand out a little bit more. So I kind of feel like the gray hairs are, I don't know, they're colored, but they look like they were gray once upon a time. So I don't know how to explain it. Um, so tell me what you guys think about this color. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.